Ko ste došli nazaj na kanalu Moj laboratorij, naj je doletela ena zelo velika čast. Kaj že veste, smo edini v Sloveniji, ki se ukvarjamo s področjem sline, zato nas prepoznavajo tudi tudi v ini. Ena velika mednarodna korporacija nas je tako povabila, da nekaj poveva o našem laboratorju in nekaj o prednosti testiranja jih iz sline. Tako da danes si boste lahko ogledali ta video. Hi and welcome to our lab. We are Bianca and Aresh. Uh, Bianca is head nurse at our laboratory and I'm a lab technician and also CEO of company Medicare Plus. We were given this great opportunity to talk about our lab, uh, introduce our test portfolio and tell you about a typical patient uh, that comes to our lab. But first, let's go six years back when it all began. Our company was founded in spring 2014. Bianca and I are founders and owners of this company and since this segment is quite assets and capital dependent, we were looking for uh, laboratory ser services which doesn't need heavy equipment, since at the time we did not have much resources. So we came across with Alices, which we were familiar with before and I also knew some people from IBL, uh, so we contacted them if they are willing to be our supplier. They agreed. First off, you must know that saliva diagnostics was fairly unknown here in Slovenia. Nobody was working with saliva, except maybe for some researchers. For us, that has been an obstacle and an opportunity at the same time. When starting a new business, you can either play it safe and find a doctor or two and offer them what they already need, like glucose or hemogram. Or you can choose the hard way and try to interest them in something they don't even know, like was saliva testing, which of course we did. And we got zero doctors. You know what they said? They asked us, what do you mean saliva testing? What is this? Why would we need to know how much uh, of testosterone is in saliva? But they agreed to order and advise this to their patients if they would ask for it. And given the fact that saliva was really unknown here, of course no one asked for it. And so we tried to present saliva testing to the people, to educate, to promote and to tell the end customers what are the advantages in saliva testing versus blood testing. Being a nurse, I can understand our patients' concerns about blood draw. I mean, for some there's fear of needles, fear of blood, fear of pain. But for most people, I think blood draw is just a really uncomfortable and invasive method of sample collection. That being said, surely the greatest advantage of some uh, saliva sampling is being a pain-free, non-invasive and real easy method of sample collecting. <laughs> also, a great benefit for patients is the possibility of taking the samples in a comfort of their own home. There's also no need to visit the laboratory, they can just take the samples and send them to us and get the results. Also, uh, saliva offers a certain amount of anonymity. I mean, not everyone is comfortable sharing their health and uh, personal information with someone face to face. With that in mind, we created a website with all the information, we printed out uh, all the brochures, uh, coupons and we tried to advertise our services in magazines. In the meantime, our laboratory was inspected by Chamber of Laboratory Medicine and we were given an official permission to test human samples. We found out that people do seek additional advice, additional tests and saliva testing customers are definitely present here in Slovenia but they are probably outsourcing the service. So that meant that there was something missing. And the key ingredient were doctors. So we finally managed to team up with some and they agreed to look at the reports that we were given to them and give uh, to the patient some general advice about hormone balance and in exchange for a fee. And this is how we started promoting our service by offering lab tests plus combined with doctor counseling, which was break or make for us. We were also getting better and better at saliva testing. We were able to buy some equipment to perform analysis in an even more precise way than before, like multi-channel pipette and automatic washing, etc. Suddenly, also doctors started to find out some value in salivary hormones. And since we have a lot of communication with uh, the patient, we got to know the symptoms uh, and were able to link them with possible diseases. Our patients really appreciated that and came back. 
but this time they brought a friend. Since the saliva testing was our main thing and still represents uh, around a quarter of everything we do, we can really appreciate the diagnostic value it brings in hormone testing, as opposed to blood testing. Uh, we also perform automated. For instance, we developed a protocol for women which tells them exactly when and how they should take the saliva samples in order to get the most accurate results. This was a trial and error in the beginning and at this point I would like to thank all the technicians at IBL for miles and miles of corresponding emails and fine-tuning all the stages of our ELISA. At this point what we measure in saliva regarding women's hormones are progesterone, estradiol and testosterone but most of the time DHEA and cortisol as well. But the main difference between uh, salivary and serum results is due to our uh, specific protocol of samplings, which allows us to avoid peaks and menstrual cycle dependence highs and low that occur in serum testing. Doctors that are working with us now actually prefer saliva tests because of that as well. In most cases, our typical patient is a woman in her 30s or 40s thinking uh, she has some kind of uh, hormonal imbalance issue. After reading our articles uh, on our website where we describe hormonal imbalances, they decide to check their hormone levels for themselves. Most often these women have thyroid issues, uh, some hot flashes maybe, have trouble losing weight, are depressed, or are just curious about their hormone uh, levels. There is also a niche market which needs developing in Slovenia, here where a doctor or somebody else with a proper license would offer hormone replacement therapy in uh, how would I would say that, uh, not so much in a clinical way but a well-being way. I suppose this is how we see saliva testing right now, not do or die uh, markers like troponin, CRP or tumor markers but more like wellness, well-being, anti-aging way. Now we mainly focus in women's health before and during pregnancy and after childbirth like in menopause. Doctors addressing these issues here in Slovenia are gynecologists so they are basically our main focus. Things slowly but surely moved forward, meaning that now doctors at least know the existence of uh, saliva diagnostics, they know and like some of the advantages of this uh, sample, like ease of collection being one of them, and having a reliable partner with know-how behind is probably the second one. In some of the doctor's offices, Patients with symptoms like hormonal imbalances, like estrogen dominance, can take home sample collection kit, which we provide, take the sample at the appropriate time and hour at home and send the samples back to us. This is done by post surface since we found out that saliva is a very stable sample. More and more samples are analyzed per week, month, year and more and more data is being collected. We do not always find the time to inspect that data, but as mentioned before, we found out that steroid salivary hormones do not have such highs and lows and they are more representative. Also, the free values of hormones are sometimes, sometimes much more meaningful than binding values. There was also one interesting study done here in Ljubljana by a Faculty of Economics, where the thesis was that the higher steroid hormones lead to more risk-oriented behavior in those investing in stock markets. There's also an ongoing study right now where researchers are trying to use stimulation of the vagus nerve to increase the secretion of some of the hormones, which could be a useful future in helping patients with anxiety and depression. Since I think we are on the right path and saliva will continue to grow, then our next logical step would be to try to automate the workflow. Automate some of the ELISAs in order to bring down those CVs between duplicates even lower. Quite a lot of work to be done in promotion, especially in other areas with other type of medical specializations. Since hormonal balance is one of the 21th century diseases that certainly needs addressing. We will also try to push saliva uh, testing, especially in cases where the advantages are superior to those of blood testing. We see the importance of uh, saliva definitely growing in the future, especially if someday uh, this kind of testing was maybe covered by health insurance here in Slovenia, like blood testing is. By us not being greedy and by optimizing the testing, we managed to keep costs low 
and end prices low as well. And as we all know in the health insurance business, it always comes down to a price. So now I must say that the prices of saliva testings are actually comparable to those of blood testings. Maybe in the future some other bigger health facilities or maybe even hospitals will also see the opportunities that saliva testing brings and maybe they'll even come to us for advice on how to deal with the challenges that it brings to. We would like to thank you all if you come to the end of this video. And please excuse our English. This is the first video we did that is not in Slovenian language. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you found out something new and we will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye. <gasps> okay. Say, <laughs> touch. Kukar slovenščina. Stari, pul da mu pa šesto.